Hey, hey, it's Minimalist Gourmet, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these amazing, funky, Halloween-themed deviled eggs. I'll show you how to make this cool pattern on the eggs. We're going to create a delicious filling to put inside, and you're going to have a fantastic and highly sought-after Halloween dish that everyone's going to be impressed by. So let's get crack a lacking. We'll start by boiling our eggs for about 10 minutes. Once they're done boiling, go ahead and run them under some cool water and let them sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes to cool down. Now, to create the spiderweb effect, simply take each egg in your hand and use the back of a spoon to gently crack the shell over the surface. Don't get overzealous and crush the shell completely because then too much dye will enter in and it'll look blotchy as opposed to looking like a spiderweb. Something sort of like this looks good to me. In fact, you could say it looks eggshellint. With all of our eggs cracked and ready to go, we're going to load them into a Ziploc bag and get out our food coloring. Now I'll be using green today, but you could also use something like blue, purple, or black. Those would also be good options. Pour your food coloring right into the bag. You certainly don't need to use this much. This stuff is pretty cheap, so I didn't mind using a bit extra. And fill the bag with enough room temperature water that it completely covers the eggs. Get out as much air as you can so that way the dye is in direct contact with the eggs. Mix it around gently and then place this into a bowl or something like a Tupperware container so in case there's any spills it doesn't get all over your fridge. Keep this in the fridge for about two to four hours. I like to flip it halfway through just to make sure that the eggs are evenly dyed. All my egg puns today come from a comedy hen. I hope they crack you up and that's no yolk. After about four hours in the fridge, I pulled out my eggs and I rinsed them off very well. That's important because you don't want to have this dye get all over your hands and stain your fingers. If you do stain your hands green, you can always go as the Hulk for Halloween. I'm really glad that I had this container here because I put it in the fridge and my bag did in fact leak. As you start to peel your eggs, this is where the real fun begins. You're going to start uncovering this really, really cool pattern that you made and each egg is going to be different because of the way you cracked it. You know, I gotta say, I absolutely love the way that these come out every time I make them. I think they just look so cool, and they really remind me of something that you might see on an alien movie. But ours are going to be filled with something a lot more tasty than a face hugger. After you're done peeling, I like to give them a quick rinse under cool water just to get off any little pieces of shell that I may not have caught before. Next, we're going to make our filling. To start, we just need to cut the eggs straight in half like this. We're going to take the yolks and put them into a bowl and place the whites onto a plate. We're going to start by breaking down our egg yolks. I'll be using a fork, but some people do like to use a food processor for this. It makes a very, very smooth finished product, and if you have one, you can certainly use it. We're going to build our filling with a bit of salt and pepper, mayonnaise, and mustard. Don't forget to go down and check out the description below. I always include a written recipe with all the quantities. That way you can make this recipe right at home. And while you're down there, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget, you can always add what you like if you want to put in some olives or pickles or paprika. That's always a good option. Definitely give this a taste and adjust the seasonings as necessary. I want my filling to be orange. Uh, they don't have any orange dye where I'm at, but they do have yellow and red, which the last time I checked, combined to make orange. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a little bit of red and a little bit more of the yellow. You can always adjust these color combinations as you'd like. If you want to make your eggs orange and you're filling green, you can do that. You can make your eggs black and you're filling red. Whatever suits your needs, go ahead and do that. This looks nice and good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and stop right here and build a little piping bag so I can fill the eggs easier. If you want, you can skip this step entirely and just use a spoon. I do think it's a little easier and it looks a little nicer to use a piping bag though. Of course, you know my channel and I'm not about to go buy something special, so we're just going to use a Ziploc bag, or really any type of food safe grade bag will work. We're going to load our filling up into the bag and then squeeze it all the way down to the bottom side here. Now just twist the bag so it doesn't try to work its way back out when you squeeze it. We're going to snip off the corner and start filling up our eggs. If your deviled eggs give you any problems, just threaten to call an egg exorcist. I like to fill up my eggs until they're just about level with the rim and then start to swirl up just like you're making an ice cream cone at Macca's. And now you have a classic treat with a nice Halloween twist. And hey, since you guys liked this video so much and watched until the end, I'd like to recommend this video right here, my Halloween treats that you can make with basically nothing more than some Oreos and chocolate chips. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all next week.